Well, a lot of things changed because obviously I released the second album, que es El Cristal Medium Blue, and que es una música muy diferente, un poco más, no un poco, no más chill, pero más acústic, no, no es electronic como Sonic Poems, um, pero tiene canciones como uh, Frisco Blues o Caballero, who are a little bit like Sonic Poems, but then you have songs like Miles Away, Hey Lou, Eternity, and it's really the new vibe, of, uh, or cruising, it's like this new kind of like psychedelic, you know, a way of thinking and way of playing. And so when I was doing the album, I was like, oh, I have to play with a band, you know. So this yeah. is a whole different new approach. It's a new episode. The band is, is composed of super interesting musicians. Um, the first one is Anne Lee Cannon, who's on guitar and she sings. Uh, she has a very strong voice and she plays. Uh, she comes from a folk background, so she's very, very good. And, um, and I needed someone like this because in the album there's quite a few featurings with my friends and I need someone that could play the guitar and sing songs like Highway or even Get Fly. So it was very important to find this person and when I, when I found Anne I was super happy. Then on the keyboards we have this, this gentleman called John, John Evers from New Jersey. And I was on keys before, yeah. this was my thing. So I needed to find someone that could understand my way of playing, my way of having the chords, you know, the, the, the nice chords, the nice harmonies. Uh, so this was very hard to find, because had, you had to find the groove as, as well. Yeah. And uh, John comes from uh, jazz, obviously, but also like churches, organ churches. Okay. So he's very able to like play a lot of stuff and play with his feet, so he can mm. He can, you know, play like ch -ch -ch, he can Maybe play like yeah. another thing here and this because the the advantage of the band is I, w I, di I didn't want to have a computer, yeah, no no laptop on stage no. because I had so many problems with this and, and I didn't like the fact of of being like oh uh, I can't play here because there's no electricity for yeah. example now I can just pick up a guitar and play Hey Lou you know that's the cool thing. Uh, and then on bass is uh, Kusuke Nonoyama, who was doing the sound uh, for me before, and he's an incredible bass player. It's wow! It's amazing. He's yeah. amazing bass player, and he's very good style as well. And in the end, we have uh, Adrian Liber uh, Ramirez, que es de me que es Meri mexicano, okay, and uh, de San Miguel, and he's super, super, super good as well. But he was bef he, before this, he was doing the lights. And he, he also helped me to conceptualize okay. the, the live. The live show. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it just comes naturally. I don't even think about it, you know. Um, par, for example, Caballero is just, I don't know. It, when I did it, I was like, mm, Caballero. Yeah. No lo sé por qué. Es como attitude. No lo sé por qué. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just had to ask my friend like, hey, can you, can you just say Caballero, you know, something like this. And then, for example, Get Fly, it's just my friend uh, Gabriela. Yeah. She's, she's a good friend because she's, she's living in Barcelona. And obviously, um, I lived in Barcelona. Yeah. So also that's why. <laughs> for example, es, es porque vivo en Barcelona que encontra Al Alicia Tequero, mm -hmm. que canta en la Siesta Freestyle. Uh, I met her in the smoking room of uh, El Club Apollo. Okay. Because uh, uh, we're in a festival. Mm -hmm. And just in the smoking room, because it's big, because it's a prom festival, and it was only like um, indie, indie pop, uh, little bands playing, and she was there because she had a side project. Because Alicia can't find Cariño. Okay. Mm -hmm. de, and uh, who's, who's super famous. She was also had this thing, I was like, oh, let's do something. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, but yeah, for the album, it's just, it just comes like this. this? It's, just, it's just my vibe, I guess. I feel like I'm starting to feel it only now. I feel like when I was playing it in, in Europe, it was, not it was a bit different the way they received it. I think the album was super inspired by... Uh, Mexico, in a way, also by my, my time in, 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 in Los Angeles 
and in Spain. So I think if I play this show, for example, in France, it's not the same spirit, so they don't mm -hmm. really, it's, it, you know, they, of course they, they love it, but here I, f I feel it in a way that it's like super powerful, you know. Uh, for example, La, La Cancion, uh, Flowers in the Car. Mm -hmm. uh, when we played it at Follow Puebla, people were jumping. Yeah. It never happened. No. I think that there's a lot of love. I feel like this. People here love, they, they like love song mm -hmm. a lot. Um, and this is what I love as well. I love Cancion de Amores. Um, so I think this is where we meet. Okay. It's like it's on the, this these feelings of playing songs, like for example, la canción Je pense à toi. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a connection with this song here, I think, with, with more than people. in other places. Uh, it's 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 this pure feeling, I think, that is. I remember uh, when I played before, for example, uh, last year I was playing more like. Um, dark songs or like super energetic, energetic songs. Yeah. Uh, Como la canción que se llama Fuck You. Mm -hmm. And the reaction were a bit like... <laughs> but then if I play La Siesta or Je Pense à Toi, it's, it connects more. And, and that's why like, when I was choosing um, the, the support for Follow Puebla, I was playing a lot of artists. And, and when I, I listened to Blaulio Conde, okay. I was like, okay, we have the same vibes of like doing these this, this songs of like, good times, romantico feelings, you know, and being happy, you know. So, cuando, cuando fue el niño, eh, I was playing with uh, my phone, she had, my, my mother, she had uh, this a tiny uh, Sony Ericsson phone, yeah. with a little game in it. That was a, a, a game, a little music game. I was playing a little bit, okay, that's cool. And, and then I, st I started to do music on GarageBand a little bit. And I was making music in, in a kind of a video game way of thinking. I was like, oh, da -da -da, if you do this, do this. And with my friend, we had a, a tiny band that we called um, The Timers. Okay. And we were, we were uh, making little loops on GarageBand and we were singing, um, uh, with no no idiomas, it's like no, no, we are just like ah, no, so, nah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we wanted to sing in English, but we didn't know how to speak English. Mm -hmm. So we are just saying stuff, and we, maybe we are putting a little bit of French, but then we are like saying these nonsense things because we just wanted to sing. And uh, we we were doing like CDs. Okay. We made like three albums. <laughs> oh, <laughs> El primer album se llama Superstar. El segundo se llama Red Revolution. Y el, el tercer álbum se llama Open the Sky. Okay. But we, but we were uh, nine, nine, ten years old. You know? oh, <laughs> so it's just like CDs we were printing and, and with sticking pictures. And then I, I started, uh, I, I, I moved. Um, my, 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 my father is a painter. And um, we went to, to New York. Mm -hmm. And I played the drums there. That's where I discovered the drums. And we went back to France. And uh, I had a band, and playing the drums in the band, I was like, when I played played the drums for the first time, I my brain expanded. I was like, oh, and I I started to be good at school, to have friends. It just made me in tune, okay, with life. Because I was before this, I was I was a bit um, uh, not to say como como una tomate como no, it's vegetable. Oh, okay. That's it. Nothing um, happening. So, when I was there, I spent, I think, nine months. And what really inspired me was uh, Juan Miro, El Pintor. Um, because I, w I was living right, right next to mm -hmm. La Fondación Miro. It's in Montjuic. It's, it's a very nice, beautiful hill, and I would go walk there a lot. And I would just spend time at, at the Fondation Miro, and I, I would just watch the painting. And it, there's so many tiny dots of colors, and, and it's super, like, uh, it's, it's, it's just beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. 
in a in a positive and light way and it really inspires me to to get this sound that you hear on Las Manistas or Sesta Freestyle this kind of like jumpy sound is really inspired by what I was by the painting of one me one middle um, I think there's one painting that is called the uh, uh, four plus four equal two. Okay. I think, and it's really the rest of just a freestyle exactly. in my mind. And uh, so yeah, it was, and it was, I don't know the El Sol, the life there. Okay. It's very very uh, it's super nice. So I was just there during the whole year, and I was walking. I didn't meet that much of people because I was staying in making music or walking. Um, but I guess, yeah, it was a solitario, romantico, a manjuic, and, you know, getting into this jumpy um, alegría. He was, yeah, he, because he's, he's an artist, so, you know, we are like, we are like colleagues a little bit, you know, it's, we, are, we are both, both artists, and, and uh, he was like a, he, uh, I was going to a show, uh, and then I was waiting in front of the venue, and, and it was this, this huge keyboard I have, which is the keyboard you see on the cover of uh, Yo Bene. Okay. It's the Technics keyboard, you mm -hmm. see it. And um, I was going to the show, it's a very heavy keyboard, keyboard and, it, and it was put, put there, and it was the middle of winter, and suddenly there's a big wind, and the, and the keyboard was like, crack! And like, oh shit. So I went to the venue, it, and it didn't work. I was like, oh my god, how can I do this and stuff? And, and, I, and I was like, the only person I know, because I didn't know anyone, the only person is my father who was going to meet me. I was like, oh, do you know if you can find, let's find a keyboard or something or whatever. You know, we had to do it. And I was like, oh, no, no, But he didn't find anything, actually. He didn't find it. Was, I was like, no, uh, no, no, what? no worry, I get it. And I just, I just changed. Um, I just uh, like I, I did some stuff and he and, and he worked in another way you know I yeah. made it work, uh, but it was it was a, it was not a nice time. So, you know it's always like these shows so you, you can do a super good show, the next day you yeah. do like a weird one, the next day you do a even weirder and then you do like a good one. It's like the musica is como roller coaster. Okay. You, you can't rest. It's always it's yeah. always changing. But that's why I love it. Yeah, I would love to. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet a lot, uh, but for example, a mí me gusta mucho la la cumbia rebajada. Okay. E, um, ¿Cómo se llama? Amor del futuro. Okay. ¿Dónde es? E, hay una canción. I don't. I don't remember the artist, but pero la canción se llama Cumbia del Uber. Ah, que es no, amazing. Uh, and um, El perro sí, y a mí me gusta mucho Diles que no me maten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like I, want, I, want, I need to meet these artists. I didn't, I didn't meet a lot yet, uh, you know, yeah. but I would love to. Que este concierto de Foro Puebla o de Querétaro o a Kemba Festival, que es que it was the best shows I ever did, to be honest. It was after um, Todo el Trabajo that we did uh, on how to make the album live. Uh, we really felt for the first time a joy that we, we were really hoping to get, and it's, it's so special. So okay. Muchas gracias. Muchísimas gracias. <laughs>